457 error. If you've got a mammoth uh, avalanche beacon, you've probably seen this. It's when your beacon uh, is disturbed by something such as a mobile phone, a GoPro, uh, even a heart rate monitor if you've got a heart rate strap. And uh, it uh, gives this very annoying beeping sound, which is very worrying if you're actually touring and you stop to check what's going on, find out what's causing the error. How important is it? So we've got a phone nearby. Sending. And there you go, 457 send failure. Is this beacon still working? If it is working, what are the effects? So our first test is uh, we've buried a beacon just in front of the camera and we're going to walk away and uh, this is without a mobile phone or anything to serve me. We're going to walk away and see where we lose the signal. So uh, I turn on this beacon and you can see it's saying 2.4 meters away. And that green post shows where we first got the signal. And it's not a huge range with these first generation digital beacons. So we've buried the beacon again. This time it's got a mobile phone right on top of it. So we're going to see if it makes any difference to the signal. still got the 457 send failure. I'm still able to detect the beacon but I've probably got half the range. Also the signals from a distance were uh, erratic, more erratic than without the telephone blocking the signal. However the close search I didn't see any major difference. Um, you'd have to try it with a different beacon. We'll now try it with a spade. So you see that uh, a shovel such as kind of metal shovel you might carry in your backup pack also causes a 457 send failure. Uh, what effect, uh, say you're buried like that, does this have on the signal? So there you see I was just a few meters in front of my starting point without the shovel. So the shovel makes very little difference to the signal and that's with the beacon completely covered. Now, a couple of points. The uh, avalanche uh, transceiver is only buried 30 centimeters under the snow. So if it's buried a meter, two meters, you can expect these di distances uh, to decrease. Also the orientation if it's buried upright, horizontally can make a difference. What we see is our search strip goes down from about 25 meters down to about 15 meters. So uh, it's, it certainly has an impact on how you conduct a search. You'll need to, uh, you could easily miss a beacon if you're working on a 20 meter search strip. Really you need to work on a 10 meter search strip uh, with a phone right on top of these 457 send failures. So um, yeah, it definitely has an, Im an impact on uh, searching. If the beacon does still work, it does still transmit. What's actually happening is uh, with these more modern beacons is it's actually listening to its own signal. So the 457 error means it's just hearing some disturbance in the way it's receiving, picking up the signal. And uh, evidently uh, that has an effect.